Hey there, sorry. I can see myself in the camera and I'm going, hi, 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 I'm a zombie. Help me. <laughs> oh God. As you can see, today's look is the first ever look that I've done that is not beauty based. I have done a small amount of FFX, SFX if you like, I my vampire tutorial around did my bites, but that was very minor. This is, there is no beauty involved in this. Not as in the products, but as in the look it creates. I have used beauty products. Um, as you can see, I've gone full out. I have, I don't know what's happened here, but I've lost a bit of my cheek. I've got very poorly skin over here, up here as well, I've scraped my nose, I have a lovely cut over here, and I have no idea what's happened over here. <laughs> so yeah, I've certainly gone all out for this, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy doing it, and I know that this is not the perfect zombie, I know that this, it, there is changes, or you know, but this is my first ever attempt and I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I hope it shows you that anyone, even someone who's only ever dabbled in SFX in the past, can really create something quite cool in the end. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, <laughs> I'll admit I'm nervous. Um, this is not, this is my first proper foray into stuff like this. So. Anyway, I have made sure my face is clean and I prime my lids because I know it sounds, seems a bit weird thing to do but I just can't put makeup on if my eyelids aren't primed so I was going to prime my face but I don't think there's a point, I'm too used to it, I'm too used to beauty makeup. Anyway. going to start off by figuring out where we want what's the word texture or holes or stuff like that in our face and chest anywhere that you would like to have any zombie bits so I'm going to start off by using some liquid latex on a disposable sponge and I'm going to go for, I've just realised something actually, I do want to prime it because I have been known to react to a certain Like liquid latex type things, so I want a barrier. That was why I was doing it with a method there. That was a near your post shave balm, by the way. Now the liquid latex, and I think I want the first hole to be where sort of here, so in our cheek where we normally contour, so I'm going to stip on the latex take some cotton wool
Then I'm going to apply more latex on top. And obviously as you do this you like push and pull it the car more but that's what you want so I'm making a right mess here any time that my talent for making a mess comes in handy right leave that to dry and then I'm going to take more liquid latex on the sponge and I'm going to create areas of texture so I'm going to do a bit on my forehead a bit on my other cheek I think we'll have a little bit down the nose and then on down here, no you can't see it sorry, there we go, yep now you get to see my decolored the collarbone, <laughs> I'm going to apply some liquid latex and then get in the right mess with cotton wool again, anyone who knows me will be laughing, actually to be honest anyone will be laughing at this but <laughs> anyone who knows me will be laughing their arse off at this because this is very much me look at this <laughs> I just get such a mess all the time so I'm going to get a liberal amount of latex off again beginning to think I should put a lower cut top on this is actually easier with your fingers even if it's messier okay back up to my face here Now I'm just on the areas of which is just latex, I'm going to take some more and just do another layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for, basically this all needs to dry. And my hands need to be <laughs> I really hope this turns out well. I'm being really worried that this won't turn out very well because I do beauty makeup but I really wanted to try something that wasn't beauty and was proper gory if you like. I did think about uh, making this like a glam zombie or a goth zombie and having a beauty part of the makeup and then roughing it up and I can do that if you like the idea of it but I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and do something that I wouldn't normally do anyway as I said, yes, this all needs to dry, so I'm going to go and speed that process up using a hairdryer. Um, and I will keep it, I think I'll add about two more layers to the just the, the skin areas. I'm not going to add any more layers to, well actually I might add maybe another layer to each of them just to seal it in. But because that is more about texture and stuff, I don't think it needs too much more. Anyway. Head around hand, I'll see you in a minute. Right, I'm now using uh, some of the Snazaru FX wax. So you can see I've chosen a spot up here 
and I'm just smoothing it out and the reason I didn't show you at first was because I use a hairdryer to warm it up so that I can work with it easier and I always have micellar water on my fingers otherwise it can get a right mess <laughs> says the person who's always a complete mess when do stuff like this oh, okay the person who's always a mess anyway <laughs> And I'm just going to do like so, and then this is blunt, obviously. This is just a metal nail tool. And I'm just going to draw through the wax to make what will be a cut eventually. And then using the same tool, move you back up a bit again, I'm going to pick and prod at. So now what we are going to do is you want some powder. I'm going to use ideally, obviously, like baby powder is really good for this kind of thing, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use. Uh, number 17 Miracle Matte, well, I've got left of it anyway. And a new brush, a dry brush. No. This is just a powder brush from Poundland, and I'm just going to powder all the latex areas. And most importantly, you need to really heavily powder the wax. Now I'm going. I'm using the green concealer from the MUA Pro Base Primer Conceal Palette. One palette, one green concealer up there because that's my now my mixing palette. And I'm obviously if you've got it, then cream paints are your best bet. But I don't have any, so. Then I'm going to take some white cream makeup. Do blub with that. And some black cream makeup, and not much of this, but a little bit. And Freedom Pro Matte Longwear Foundation in 02. A little square of that because zombies have been human once, they do have human skin tone to them. I'm gonna mix that up, and it's way greyer than I wanted, so I'm gonna add some more skin tone. Yeah, that's way too black, isn't it? It's way too grey, so... More white. Needed to clear some space on the phone. Anyway. I just added more white, so I'm going to mix that in. Try again. It 
It's still coming off grey than I want, but I think it will work. So, I'm going to use my sponge and pick that up. Make sure you work it over the latex and such. Okay, now I'm going to take the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder and I've had a brush again and I'm just going to set everything again. I'm just going to take a fucking brush and I'm going to use a white eyeshadow. though you could use anything really you could use the powder and I'm just going to make sure everything is blendable on there then I'm going to take matte red from the 120 palette and all round the perimeter of the eye, eye and down a bit I'm going to make very red and I'm using the matte G2 palette and thunder which is a matte grey another blending brush and that's just going directly onto the lid and then up and into the red and then underneath and the render blended black <laughs> directly down I'm going to take a very deep matte burgundy from the matte V2 palette going into the directly into the crease and then directly under as well into like this bit so it's like that looks very freaky but like you're under lower crease And you're probably seeing that my normal precision isn't really there. So I'm just blending it. And that is on purpose because if this meant is meant to look natural as in as close to not makeup as you can get stuff like this it wouldn't be naturally perfect so, so uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect obviously I'm so sure someone's gonna pick up on that far from it I'm just saying like, we strive for things to be as perfect as I possibly can get them Okay, now I'm going to use like red again and I'm going to let's go for this flap of skin that I have over here so that's the matte red from the 120 palette I'm just blending it underneath the flap and on top of it 
just spotted that I want it far out because it's possible. I'm going to take the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet Lipstick in uh, Violet Strass, which I don't think this is the actual, I think it's got the wrong cap on, but anyway. It's so red from this range. I'm actually going to use a blending brush with it. And. Use it to really get the gloom a bit more started. Now I'm going to move to a finer brush, same lipstick for now, and I'm going directly into the wax cut I made. Lovely hole we have on the side of our cheek. Then I'm going to use a matte black eyeshadow. I'm going to use Midnight Black from Makeup Obsession. Stipple sponge. And I'm just going to stipple this over, well, everything really. Give it more texture, make it not seem so. One dimensional. So I'm going to grab some of that back on an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take it directly into my crease and down. I use Makeup Revolution lipstick in Black Heart. And I'm going to Sorry. Carefully outline, if you like. Deepen the colour of my wax cut. Deepen up the giant hole we have in our cheek. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very quick disappearing act. I'm just going to make my hair suit all this. And I'll be back to finish off. See you in a minute. Okay, so I've basically done is I've taken my hair down, I've done nothing with it, and I have put a sizable amount of hair oil in it, and then just pushed it back and off my face the best I can. Like so. Oh, it looked better if it was a bit. There we go. And there wasn't latex in it. Anyway. Now I'm going to take the blending brush I've been using again, the matte red. And obviously, you can't talk when I'm doing this, but I'm going to close my lips and just run it along the centre of it. Like so, and then I'm going to take matte black and do the same. And the grey that we've been using, yeah, do that, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Just had a right moment, 
try and find my fake blood as I think the hair oil is dried. Um, I had, I ordered it offline, so it came today. So I brought it upstairs with me. I was very careful to make sure I brought it upstairs with me. And sorry, apparently that one's empty. Get up here. Go to use it a minute ago. Can't find it. Where is it? Come. It was such a nightmare. It turned out to literally be front on my bed. But I don't actually I checked my entire bed, I don't anyway. So anyway. Yes, we are going to play some blood. So I'm gonna start off with this lovely wound. This is blood gel. So I'm just gonna put a generous bit in to it. Come on, get in there. And then spray it out a bit. You can see it's literally packed with blood now. Because if you had an open wound like that, it would be. No, I've now I've got some in my hand, so I'm gonna just pile in a bit on my poor Granny's nose. Get a little bit on my sore skin. My sore skin here too. And then I wipe it away as though I felt it on my face and I've gone like that. Of course, it needs to go in our cut. Admittedly, being a bit too generous with it, but let me have my fun. I'm now just dabbing it everywhere. You know, I'm a zombie, come on now. I'm going to use stipple sponge and some of the blood. Blood. I'm gonna just get out of my hand a bit first, then go chin and just sort of random areas. I think I am suitably zombie. So yeah, this is my first ever non-beauty tutorial, I suppose. There was no beauty in this. This is a zombie. Yeah, I hope you like it. I hope it worked out okay. I hope it gives you some ideas. Uh, the liquid latex, if you're wondering, liquid latex was from Amazon, as was the fake blood, and the stipple sponge, and the special FX wax. Uh, I'll have, obviously, everything in the description box, as always. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun, and I'm glad of how it turned out in the end. So I hope you like it too. And until next time, just believe. I cannot take myself seriously, I look like a zombie. Bye! <laughs>